Welcome to this introduction to HANA Predictive Analytics Library Lecture. So first of all, what is PAL? The HANA Predictive Analytics Library is a set of predictive algorithms in the HANA Application Function Library. And it was developed specifically so that HANA can execute complex predictive algorithms by maximizing the database processing, rather than bringing all the data back to the application server. The HANA PAL is available with any HANA implementation after installation of the AFL, and the PAL makes predictive functions available that can be called from SQL scripts on HANA. This release of the PAL includes classic and universal predictive analysis algorithms in nine data mining categories. Uh, these algorithms are the most commonly used based on market surveys, and the algorithms are generally available in other database products. To get started with the PAL, you need to install SAP HANA SPS 12, also install the AFL, which includes the PAL, and then enable the script server. So let's go onto the HANA box to check how we can see whether these prerequisites are met. So in Eclipse, I'm logged on as the system user, and in the downloadable materials for this lecture, you'll find uh, the file containing the script that we're going to run. So I'm going to right click and open my SQL console, paste in the code. Now we will only at this stage want to check the libraries, whether the library functions are installed and we would also like to start the script service. So I'm just going to highlight those lines of code and execute it. And the checking of the library brings back the function names. So these are all the uh, algorithms that's available in the PAL. So everything looks okay. We've also started the script server. Now I've also could have gone to the administration console, go to configuration, daemon, go to the script server, which is over there and check and also set the instance to one. So that will start the script server as well. So now that everything is fine, let's continue with the lecture. Next, we're going to create the schema and the project we're going to work in. Going back to Eclipse, the same uh, SQL code we used previously, we're going to execute the create and the set schemas lines, as well as grant my